Hey Rams, this is Cleveland Lindsay, back again with another commentary. For you new Rams, you new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I, I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for those who are still commenting on the rant that I made about Michigan. I never thought, once again, I never thought that that rant would reach over a thousand views. Thank you for those who comment who commented on the Floyd Mayweather commentary. Thank you. You you guys do not know how mad I was about that. I was ten times as mad about the Floyd Mayweather situation than I was about Michigan. Now, on to this commentary. My commentary is about incels. Now, I know some of you are thinking, Cleveland, why are you making a commentary about these group of people? Well, I came across this. I never thought this exist. This group of people exist. And two, because of the context of because of the content of this commentary, it hit home for me. <clears throat> now, what are incels? Incels are member are members of this online subculture who define themselves as unable to find romantic or sexual partners despite desiring one. A state they describe in seldom. Self-identified incels are largely white and are mostly executively male heterosexuals. It is short for involuntary celibate. Dis discussions in incel forms are often characterized as resentment, self-pity, self-hate, hatred towards women, and, believe it or not, racism. A sense of entitlement of sex. So they feel that they are entitled, they, they are owed sex by women. And they endorse violence against sexually active people. The Southern Poverty Law Center considers them a hate group. At least four mass murders, resulting in 45 deaths, have been committed in North America by men who are either self-identified or insults or mentioned by the insult community, such as Elliot Rodger. As a matter of fact, many of them Praise Elliot Roger for what he did. Here's the reason why I'm giving this commentary. One, it's because for those of you who are single, like myself, there is somebody out there for you. These incels think they're generically, genetically inferior. They insult those that they consider good looking men, call them chads. Well, they call white good looking men chads. They call them ones that are black and they consider handsome the Tyrones. They call the sexually active women Stacy's and so on and so forth. Here's the thing. For those of you who are who are considered incels, no woman
should owe you sex. I can understand the frustration of many of these young, of many of these men because they 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 they're frustrated with being single. I can understand that because I was at that point. At one, I was at that point in my life. This is where the commentary gets a little personal. Forgive me. I was at that point in my life where I felt like no girl would ever like me. No girl would ever find me attractive. And you know, and, and no matter what I tried, no matter how many girls that I tried to either message or, you know, try to get in contact with them through Instagram or Facebook and it just was it it wasn't gonna happen. There's so many girls. There's many girls that I've tried to contact with and I messed up. Okay? I'm the I messed up. You rams that have been with me for for as long as I've been doing commentary, you know, there was this one girl that I felt that I that I fell head over heels for. <sighs> Two years ago, I found out she had a boyfriend. Was I hurt? Yeah. Will I bitter? Yeah. Did I say, you know what? I give up on women? Yeah. Three months later, I tried again. Not with the same girl. I tried again with another girl and it didn't work out. It didn't work out because I messed up. I messed up and it led me to be more angry. And even though I apologized, she blocked me. And that led me to be so angry, so frustrated that you know what? I'm tired of women. I can't stand women. Women are this. Women cause cause me hurt. Women cause me pain. I don't want to deal with women no more. I can't stand women. You know what? I'm going to get them the next time I get them in the pulpit. And this was the time where I saw almost everybody on, on at my on at my school in a relationship. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to get in that pulpit tomorrow. And one of these days, I'm going to get in that pulpit and chapel, and I'm going to just go off on every couple. There was one girl that, there was one girl that told me months ago, months ago prior to me finding out that the crush, the girl that I had a crush on and the other man, she told me, oh, you need to find a girl that's in the church. Couple months later, I find out she's dating somebody that don't never attend at church. That don't attend church. Rather, did I want to call her a hypocrite? Yeah. Did I want to put her on blast in the pulpit? Yeah. But here's the thing: the the, the pulpit is not for things like that. The pulpit is to help broken people. I took time off from preaching because I was, I was, I felt broken. I felt like I was in that broken state. I had a conversation with my mother. And I told her, I can't stand women. 
why women are this, women are this, women are that. And she paused. She said, well, I'm a woman. You hate me? I said, Mom, you're different. It doesn't matter. You, there's somebody out there for you. Son, there's somebody out there for you. Seek God first. And most of all, get yourself together. Because you can't be with somebody. You can't be with somebody if you're messed up. If you had this type of attitude. She was right. Now listen, not the first time. Until my father talked to me. And I was thinking dark, dark stuff. I was thinking, you know what? I'm just going to do. I'm just going to just, just find every couple and just smack them. Yeah. He said, son, if you do that, number, number one, you're going to get suspended from school. And two, you're going to have to come home and find a job and explain to everybody that supported you back home why you got kicked out. Because you're too, you're too bitter and you're too angry. You're too bitter and angry over the fact that you don't have a girlfriend. Son, you have done almost everything. You have done everything you wanted. You have done everything you wanted in life. You're going to school in another. You're going to school in another state. You have traveled the country. You have done this. You have done that. Why are you? Why are you so mad over this one thing that you don't have? You ought to be grateful for the things that you do have. Your life. And you want to talk about hurting other people? This was a time where the lost leg and shooting happened. And, and he referred and he referenced that. And it almost it, it shed me to tears. It driven me to tears. There are many incels that are that have that are, and are considering to commit suicide. Because they feel they felt that same self pity that I had. That then I realized I've done so much in my life that I never dreamed of. And there's so much more that I want that I, that I want to do. There's so much stuff that I want to do with this channel, with my second channel. Even though I did not post a video on there since the day of Pentecost, with my life, with 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 me being a preacher, with my life. Period. That. If the time comes for me to find, settle down and find the, the right one, it was God's timing, then I work, then the God's will, then it's going to be time. Now, if that happens, I want you, you Rams, to know something. I 
I'm trying to be the best ram. I'm going to be trying to do as... I'm still going to be doing the commentaries for you rams. I'm still going to be doing the hangouts for you rams. Because before I had whoever, the woman, the woman, she, the woman, she, whoever the woman that I wind up being with, before she came into my life, you guys did. Before you guys, Christ came. So there's Christ, there's you Rams, and there's her. Will I still continue doing commentaries? Yes. I appreciate each and every one of you Rams from the bottom of my heart. Now let me get back on to the commentary. I believe there's somebody out there for everyone. And for you guys, for, for some, to go into, for some to kill people. Because you're mad at life. Because you felt like you deserve sex. Newsflash. You're not entitled to sex. News, newsflash. Women are going to reject you. The thing is, you move on. You move on. You dust yourself up. Now, do I have now? Do I have any resentment towards the girl that I had a crush on? No. Do I wish bad for her? No. Because besides, besides all that, she still is. She's still a friend, and she's still. A sister in the gospel. I don't have no ill will towards her nor her boyfriend. I wish the best for him. Because if I let that, if I let my anger Just dwindle and dwindle. If I just wallow, rather, in my anger, in my depression. Oh, yes, I was depressed. If I let that depression, that anger, and that resentment just swell up in me, I can't call myself a Christian. And I can't call myself a man. So while I'm waiting and looking, I'm going to get myself together. I advise you, I advise those of you who are in sales to do the same. That's my long-winded commentary. Like, subscribe, tell me what you guys think. Bye.